thing that somebody else doesn't know, share that information with them because it's about sharing knowledge. Innovating, experimenting, researching, empowering, all of these are open educational practices. Showing gratitude, I said. Um, when somebody creates a syllabus and they share it with you, that's an act of intellectual, uh, I mean, I'm so excited when I get something from somebody who has done so much of the work for me. So make sure that you uh, point back to them and give them attribution. Use repositories. And I might even say that um, we can talk about OER as a value system, being open to other people, being more open-minded, listening to others, and always thinking about ways to include people who are shutting or who are being shut out of a system. Okay, so um, I've been uh, thinking a lot about the Black Lives Matter movement. And uh, thinking about uh, when we had discussions at, at Coral about how we can change our own practices as an institution and include then the voices of people who have been shut out. So in particular, African-American students who may not be taking our courses and the, who should be taking our courses, but maybe our materials don't speak to them. So I think that there is a lot of resonance to what I'm trying to say about the notion of openness and the current events today. So let's all kind of think about how we, I mean, first of all, as heritage uh, Spanish speakers, you're thinking, or teachers, you're thinking about how to include people who have been shut out of the Spanish speaking world in various ways. But let's keep then expanding that notion of inclusivity.